Hello, my brothers. Hello, my sisters. Today is the day that the Lord has made, and I am so glad, so glad to be a part of and rejoice in it each and every day. My brothers, my sisters, I'm so glad and so happy for every last one of y'all tuning in today to hear, on, to hear another word from our Heavenly Father God today. And before we get into this word, and before we get into this message, I will always love to pray with every last one of you. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I just come to you today. I just want to say thank you today. I want to say thank you for this word and this message that we're about to receive today. I just want to say thank you for all the opportunities that you bless us with today. I want to say thank you for the, the second chances that we have in life. I want to say thank you that we're able to seek you this, today, oh, Heavenly Father God. I want to say thank you that we're able to get on our knees and pray and worship you today, every day, Heavenly Father God. I just want to say thank you for how you move and melt on our behalf today. I want to say thank you for what you're doing right now and now life. I want to say thank you, Heavenly Father God, for every last one of my brothers, my sisters right now, or whatever they're going through right now, Heavenly Father God, that I ask you right now just to come into their life right now and lift them up in their time of need right now. I'm asking you right now, Heavenly Father God, to give them insight right now. I'm asking you right now, Heavenly Father God, to lay your righteous right hand on every last one of your sons and your daughters right now. Heal them in every area they need to be healed at, oh, Heavenly Father God. I want you to speak to them, oh, Heavenly Father God. I want you to open their eyes, let them see what they need to see from you, open their ears so they need to hear whatever it is they need to hear from you. Heavenly Father God, we want to let you know we put our faith and our trust in each and every day. And even there, Heavenly Father God, even though we might not know a way, Jesus, but we know long that you're sitting on the throne, we still trust in you, Heavenly Father God. And the only thing we have right now is our faith, oh, Heavenly Father God. The only thing we have right now is our trust, oh, Heavenly Father God. And we hope that it's enough for you, oh, Heavenly Father God, because that's what we give you right now today. And we love you, Jesus. We trust you, Jesus. And we give you all things, praise, and glory. In Jesus' mighty holy name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Our God is so awesome here. So amazing here. So faithful, my brothers and my sisters. I just want y'all always, always give Jesus the thanks. And always give him the praise. Because we serve an awesome and amazing and faithful God. He deserves the praise every day. Praise is not our own and all switch thing. And praise is not a seasonal thing. Praise is an everyday thing because our God is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. He never changes like the weather, and he never changes like us. He's still on the throne. He's still performing miracles and wonders each and every day. He's still answering our prayers each and every day, and he still have our back to the very end. Our God is awesome, and he is so amazing. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. And today is the day of salvation, my brothers and my sisters. I cannot encourage this enough. And if you have not asked Jesus to come into your life, today is the day, my brothers, my sisters, that I'm really encouraging you right now today just to stop what you're doing right now, just to head to the altar or just go in your room right now and just open up your mouth right now. Just boldly confess. Don't worry about who's looking at you. Don't worry about what people might think or say about you because a lot of people right now wish they can be in your place right now, wish they can be in your shoes right now, but they laid in a cemetery right now. That's a lot of people right now wish they can be right now, have another chance and opportunity to speak to God right now, just to ask them that question. But some of them right now, they're in the hospital right now and I see you or life support or whatever the situation may be. But today you have a chance, today you have an opportunity and I just want you to boldly confess with your mouth right now today and say, Lord Jesus, Today is the day that I'm asking you to come into my life. And I want you to be my Lord and Savior Christ. And once you boldly confess that, my brothers and my sisters, right then and there you are saved. You are born again. Your relationship began with Jesus at that very moment. And I believe right now today that somebody's here on their way to the altar right now. I believe right now today that somebody's here right there to the room and just to ask Jesus that question right now. And I just want to say amen to you, my brother. I want to say amen to you, my sisters. Our God is awesome. He's amazing. The angels right now in heaven are rejoicing right now. And I just want to say amen, amen, amen. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My brothers and my sisters, I come to you today with another word and another message coming from my Heavenly Father God. And today, somebody's been doing a lot of running their mouth a little bit too much. And you know exactly who you are, and you wonder why how everybody know your business. You wonder why sometimes your blessings are getting stopped because you cannot hold water. Some of you can't hold water. Somebody gave you a piece of information. You got to go tell it. And that's your problem right there. Once you, once you get a piece of information, you go tell it, and you just can't wait to run your mouth. 
That's why so many people know your business right now. That's why so many people in your family know your business right now. That's why so many people in your family disown your husband or your wife right now because you don't went back and ran your mouth. That's why some of y'all right now is missing your opportunity and blessing because you can't hold your mouth shut. This word and this message for you, you already know who you are. You ain't got to be looking like, oh, is the pastor talking about me? The word of God is talking about you. You know exactly who you are. You know exactly what you've been doing. Amen. Amen. And before I get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Holy Heavenly Father God, I just can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for another day of life today. I can't thank you enough for our strength today. I just can't thank you enough for our health today. I just can't thank you enough for this word and this message that we're about to receive today. I can't thank you enough for our breakthrough. I can't thank you enough for our blessing. I can't thank you enough for our healing. I can't thank you enough for our anointing. I can't thank you enough for our deliverance. I can't thank you enough for the food that you put on that table. I can't thank you for the clothes and shoes that you put on that back. I just can't think of how you provide it. I just can't think of how you making a way. I just can't think of how the Samuel is about to find us on the Father God. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do. Because I can't thank you enough. That's why I seek you the way I do. Because I can't thank you enough. That's why I worship you the way I do, Jesus. Because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you each and every day. And I pour my heart and my faith and soul into you each and every day, Jesus. Because I can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' mighty holy name. Amen. Amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, we're about to get into this word. And I would love for y'all to turn y'all back to Proverbs 10. And we're going to read verse 14. That's Proverbs chapter 10. And we're going to read verse 14. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive this word today, let the church say amen. 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 Let's begin, my brothers and sisters. Let's begin. 14. Wise men store up knowledge, but the mouth of a fool and bites ruin. A wise man or a wise woman stores up knowledge. That means when they get information, they know how to keep their mouth shut. They know how to keep between them and God. But a fool runs their mouth. And right now, some of y'all are fool right now. Some of y'all are looking like a fool right now because you're running your mouth right now. And you wonder why everybody in the job know your business right now because you that fool you told one person one thing and that person told another person that person told another person and when it got back to you you don't heard 30 or 40 50 million different ways what you even told that person the first time why are you still running your mouth my brothers my sisters why are you still doing it to you doing it to yourself right now some of y'all right now are so immature right now it does not make any sense you should get tired of running your mouth all the time. You should get tired how people always signify and know everything about you before you even know something about you. It's because you can't hold water. Somebody can tell you a secret, and soon somebody tell you, you can't wait to go sit there and tell your homeboys or your homegirl or ready to get on the phone or ready to get on Facebook or whatever the situation may be, and you're ready to spread rumors you ready to tell everything that you had just heard some of y'all don't know what the meaning of knowledge is but i'm gonna tell you one thing you need to get a dictionary right now you need to get a dictionary for yourself right now and look up the word knowledge and once that you know the word knowledge you'll stop running your mouth you'll stop telling your business why so many of your family members right now hate your husband right now? Because some of you wife right now has went back jibber jabbing telling everything about your in your in your marriage. Telling you telling your family everything what's going on in your household, telling your family everything what's going on in your finances, and that's why they're looking at your husband all fun acting, because you're running your mouth on the only person that you should have told your business to is Jesus. He's the only person that you need to talk to. He's the only person, if you got a problem with anything, you need to talk to him. But you can't do that. You can't do it. Some of y'all husbands right now, 
You wonder why your your mother in law don't like your wife right now, or your sisters don't like don't like your wife right now, because you don't went back and told everything what your wife doing. You the fool. You are the fool. Because at the end of the day, you still gotta look. You still gotta. You still gotta stay with her. You still gotta sleep with her. You still gotta communicate with her. Now, who's looking like the bigger fool? You are. Now, every time you go to a family function right now, everybody got they, they nose stirred up at your wife. Everybody looking at her sideways because everything what you had went back and told them about your wife. Some of you have no meaning of what the word knowledge means. You don't know how to store the word knowledge. But when it comes to information, when it comes to information, you can't keep your mouth quiet. You can't hold water. My point is what I'm saying today, my brothers and my sisters. You got to stop telling your business. You got to stop running your mouth. If somebody tell you something secret, learn how to hold water. <clears throat> my brothers and my sisters, if you have anything that's going on in your household right now, or if there's something wrong in your marriage, or if there's something wrong in your health, if there's something wrong in your finance, don't you dare go sit there and tell everybody what's going on. The only person that you need to tell your business to is Jesus. That's the only person. He's the only person who can figure and fix everything out for you. He's the only person. Some of y'all got a, a, a leak in your mouth. And I'm just going to be honest with you. Some of y'all got a running, running leak in your mouth. You can't wait to go back and tell exactly everything somebody just told you. And that's a shame. They mean that you're really immature. They mean that you're a bigger fool than what you think that you are. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm going to speak the facts. That's all I'm going to do. I ain't going to sugarcoat it. That's what you really are. Because the word of God says, a wise man stores up knowledge, but the mouth... Of a fool invites run. But the mouth, your mouth is a fool, my brothers. Your mouth is a fool, my sisters. According to the word of God, it invites ruin. You are ruining your marriage because your mouth. You are ruining your blessing because your mouth. You talking too much. You talking too much. Now, my brothers, my sisters, we only have five and a half months left of 2018. Don't let your mouth right here to be the fool of your blessing. Don't let your mouth right here ruin your marriage. Don't let your mouth right here ruin so everybody know your business. Stop telling your business. Stop it right now. You know exactly who you are right now today. I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know who I'm preaching to right now today. Stop your mouth. If you feel like that you about to, you about to start running your mouth, get some duct tape and put it across your mouth right now today. Fix that, that leak that's been in your mouth for, for so long. Stop that leak from running. You got to fix the leak. If you can't fix the leak, ask Jesus. Say, Jesus, today, you know, I got a bad habit of running my mouth. Right now, my mouth is a fool right now. My mouth have a leak problem in it right now. And Jesus, right now today, I'm asking you right now today to fix my mouth. I'm asking you to fix this leak that's been leaking in my mouth for quite some time right now today. And watch how Jesus fix that running leak that's been running in your mouth. Your mouth is a fool. And the reason why your mouth is a fool because you tell everything that you know. And that's why so many people are all in your business. That's why so many people know everything about you, your household, your finances, your health, your marriage, because you've been running, running your mouth. You can't blame nobody else for talking about you. You got to blame yourself for being a bigger fool by telling everybody. You can't hold water. I'm going to tell you straight out. You cannot hold water. So my point is, through this message, learn how to be wise and store up the knowledge right there. Learn how to keep your mouth shut. If Jesus tell you something, keep it shut. Don't sit there and tell them, oh, Jesus told me this right here. No. I mean, it's one thing to tell, tell somebody something to inspire them, but don't tell everything. That's how some of y'all block your blessings. Because your mouth, because your mouth, you're talking too much. Let's finish this year out right here. This 2018 and say, you know what? I've been running my mouth. I've been having a leak in my mouth for these last six and a half months. But these last 
five months that I had left, I'm going to learn how to be quiet. I'm going to learn how to store my knowledge. I'm going to learn if I got a problem with anything or what I'm going through, I'm going to speak to Jesus first. And I'm going to leave it in his hand. I'm going to learn how to be quiet. If I feel like I got to run my mouth, I'm going to put some duct tape across my mouth because I know I have a running mouth. So today I'm going to ask Jesus to fix this leak that's been leaking in my mouth for quite some time. Let's finish this year out with a bang, my brothers and my sisters. And you know exactly who you are. Stop running your mouth. Stop telling your business. Because according to the word of God, say, but the mouth of a fool. This right here is a fool. The reason why it's a fool, because you're immature. The reason why it's a fool, because you don't know no better. The reason why it's a fool, your, your, your brain haven't really matured yet. You think that you've grown, but you're really acting like a child. So that's why your mouth is a fool. It's going to continue to stay a fool until you ask Jesus to fix that leak that's been running in your mouth. Once Jesus fixed that leak, then your mouth will not be a fool no more, my brothers and my sisters. You got to ask him right now today. You know exactly who you are. Be bold enough and let him know that Jesus, my mouth been a fool for some time. But today I'm asking you to fix this fool right now. Because this mouth of mine has been getting me in trouble. This mouth of mine has been has been spilling stuff. No, I had no business spilling stuff. And some of y'all swear that y'all grown and you still can't hold water. Tell Jesus to fix that leak right now. Tell Jesus to fix that fool of a mouth that you have on your face right now. Because that was exactly what you have on your face right now. A fool of a mouth. Fix the problem. Stop telling your business. Stop telling your business. My sisters, quit going home telling your family everything about your husband. What goes in your house stays in your house. They don't got to know what's going on in your, in your family. They ain't got to know what's going on in your household. My brothers, quit going back telling your mother and your friends all the stuff that you're doing in your house. What goes in your house, it stays in your house. That is a sacred place. Nobody should be knowing what's going on in your house. Quit going back telling people what's going on in your finance and your health and what you and what the doctors are saying. Keep that between you and your wife. Keep that between you and your house. So your mouth is a fool. That's why people holding that one little object over your head because you don't tell them everything. It said, no weapon form against you should not prosper. He didn't say, he didn't say there was a weapon ain't going to form. He didn't say it ain't going to prosper. The reason why they holding their object over your head, because you don't ran your mouth like a fool. So that's why they holding their object over your head, because what you don't told them. Stop it right now today. People can't hold nothing against you if you don't run your mouth. If you store up the knowledge and the, and the wisdom that Jesus gives you every day, you ain't got to worry about nobody talking about you. You don't have to worry about that. Stop this. This your problem. Your mouth is a weapon. And it's hurting most of y'all right now. It's hurting most of y'all marriage right now. It's ruined y'all marriage right now. It's ruined a lot of your blessings right now because you can't keep your mouth shut. Your mouth is like a water, like a running refrigerator right now. It's leaking all the time. You can't wait. I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus that Jesus is going to fix that leak for you today. I'm praying for you right now today. Jesus, I'm asking you right now to fix the leak in my brothers and my sisters' mouth right now. Their mouth right now has been a fool. Their mouth has been getting them in trouble. Their mouth has been blocking their blessing. Their mouth has been ruining their marriage and everything else in their household. I ask you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, please fix their leak of their mouth right now. Please fix their mouth problem right now today, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty holy name, amen, amen. And if this word and if this message for you today, let's give Jesus the thanks right now. Let's give him the praise and let's give him the glory right now. Amen. Amen. And before I close, I always like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you that comes to my life to guide us, direct us, use us so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, if I was praying that simple little prayer that God is already working everything got in our life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, or leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always praise him. This minister LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. Amen.